park But the treasure's buried beneath years and years of time so we now stopped three times on the way to our next location. Um, we stopped at one place and we saw a sloth. I forgot to take my camera. Classic mistake. And then we just stopped at like a little market, which I just showed footage of. So we're going to La Selva Biological Station. I don't know why I keep touching my hair, but um, yeah. So that's that's our next stop. What? Yes. Bye. All right. Without a name there And it is sailing to the middle of the sea Water there is deeper than anything you've ever seen Jump right in and swim until you're free You know, like Dole Whip. We split from the other group, which is why I was alone on the bus. She didn't leave me on purpose. They look pretty much like pepper. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. Okay. So they look pretty much like paper. And whenever you open a fruit, you got it? Yep. Yeah. But one oh. single cut and that oh, will be it. Okay? Ready? Okay. Oh, scary. before I do that, I was forgetting something. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know... Uh, what a trickster. I understand that if I'm talking to you. I'm not putting any effort on doing this. And can you guys see how easy the machete goes really through the well. plant? Mm -hmm. Now let me ask yeah, you. If this were a banana tree, you think I could do something like that? No. no so no. please don't you ever call this a banana tree. Okay? <laughs> if you do, don't even mention that you came to visit us because some people might not believe you. Okay? Very easily. And then we could see what is going on here. Ooh. So we have the plant up and into. Now let me get rid of one of these sides. There you go. And then we have the plant once again up and into. Wow. Now you could see what we were talking about. We have the corn. We have the cells right on top producing the foliar area one at a time. Can you guys see that? Yeah. You could actually follow it all the way down straight to the top of the corn. Can you see that? Don't miss this one, okay? Come on, get back to the camera. Okay, <laughs> don't look at me. Can you guys see that? Pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing all the way up until it is going to pop out and then it's going to be hanging just like that. I am a member of the butterfly culture All right, so once again, we are in a place that is just so extravagant. Oh my gosh, this one's actually like much more of a resort than the other one. I'm loving it. Regardless, my makeup is gross. This is the rooms. I finally get a full size bed. Woo hoo! Woo hoo! We're just gonna keep on with this tour. Lakeside. Holy crap. Some lakeside uh, views. Very different from before. What is that? And for the second time, um, we have no shower curtain. Honestly, I don't think they believe in shower curtains in Costa Rica. Hey guys, so we're now at our next location. As you saw, I showed some footage. Today, we went to two places. We went to La Selva Biological Station. I'm really sweaty. It's really hot. We went to La Selva Biological Station and we went to a dull banana plantation and processing plant. So those are both very, very interesting. What really got me was the banana thing because at the other place that we went to see bananas, it was rainy and very hard to hear anything that was going on. Oh my God, that ant is gonna call my camera. No, stop it. Um, it was really hard to hear everything the guy was saying. So I learned a lot more this time, and the guy was super funny. The ant's crawling over me. What I don't understand is how like banana plants survived on their own before human interference. Because there's so much that they put in to getting bananas out of it. Like, how did the monkeys just get their own bananas? Or did, maybe they ate the green bananas, I don't know. But like, there's stuff you have to cut off, and there's reasons you cut them off, and then you leave one banana so it doesn't get infected from the bottom up. And just like a a boatload, I was gonna say so many other words, but a boatload 
of things that it's just like I don't understand how that survived on its own before us and he like kind of gave a brief little spiel about how like agriculture has changed in that way like from 100 years ago to from today to today and all he said was just like the technology was not the same it is possible that they knew exactly what they were doing back then as well you have to cut off the bud you have to leave one banana so where you cut the bud off oh my god there's so many ants so i had to relocate <laughs> there's a lot of ants but really that's all i pretty much had to say i would say those are the questions i have i don't know i really liked just the process oh that's mud we're kind of just gonna chill at this resort now and uh hang out and whatnot. I say whatnot so much. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!